all right all right i ain't gonna lie blue lock has been my recent not so guilty pleasure and that's mostly because of the wonderful cast that blue lock sports and by wonderful i mean completely fucking insane look blue lock characters are different from almost anything i've ever seen or expected in a sports anime so with that comes characters that you either strongly love or strongly hate now you know how people ask you which one you want first the good news or the bad news i'm the type of dude who wants the bad news first all the time you can go ahead and get that negative shit out the way so today i'm gonna be talking about the characters that are just so easy to hate starting off with you you no good traitor there's so many things i can call this guy a snake an informant a double crosser a kd a backstabber he's just awful all around and luckily it's exposed early on it literally happens during the first selection of blue lock the first selection is where they had the round robin tournament where the only way to advance was either be a part of the top two teams or be the top scorer of the losing team after two games in the tournament Team Z, which had Isagi and Kuan, the snake, had a record of 1-1. One and, one. and the team they were set to play next blew the team they lost to out. But whatever, the game is coming up, so Team Z is going over strategies. But Kuan, the main strategist, or the main snake, up until this point, wasn't there. He burst in the room eventually and says that he was taking a bubble bath like the bitch he is. After making the excuse, he is writing and explaining the strategy for the upcoming game. Everyone agrees, and then the match starts. At first, everything seems to be going perfect, because Team Z goes up 3-0, with all three goals being scored by Kuan. Everybody starts celebrating, and then the game continues. But from this point on, it's straight fuckery. To make a long story short, Kuan started playing horrible. And I mean horrible. Now my guy Isagi has never been dumb. And plus, Kuan, the back jabber, decided to smile during Team W's comeback. So Isagi confronts him and asks him, like, what's really up right now? And before Kuan can say anything, the twins on Team W confirm that Kuan is indeed being a fakey snakey. This man is completely complete scum. He didn't believe that Team Z can beat Team W fair and square. So instead of trying to win, he took the Dwight Coward route and offered to leak everything he knew about Team Z and to sell his teammates as long as they let him score three goals, making him the top scorer on his team. Because remember, like I said, the top scorer on each losing team still gets to advance. Look, this was Fugazi. And because of your actions, Kuan, you are forever a bitch. The next person that's easy to hate is Igigori, or Monk. Y'all probably seen this coming. The reason it's easy to hate monk is different from the reason we hate snake man we don't like the spy because he did something scummy did his plan make sense yes was he a good character who served his purpose in the story yes now with monk nobody even knows what his purpose is igagori is easy to hate because he's simply trash he's a gag character who literally hasn't made me laugh once like what does he do the man specializes in flopping that's literally his only weapon and because of this i have two questions one what the hell did ego see in him when he picked him up for blue lock and two how did he get past the first stage of the second selection i guess it's just annoying seeing a character with zero improvement throughout the story survive for as long as igagori does especially when there's other players who are better that got eliminated and on top of all this he's also a dishonorable piece of trash the man's always being dirty or taking the easy way out look i don't know what there is to like about him honestly i guess the only purpose he really serves is showing how far isagi has grown since at the beginning of blue lock they were ranked pretty close and now isagi is leaps and bounds better but other than that he's a complete waste of space now the last person i want to talk about is someone who i think is easy to hate because of how cringy he is itoshi ren also known as ren uchiha is someone who's just overly edgy for no reason look the man is just a classic douche he's talented but it's almost impossible to root for him i don't think i've ever heard him say anything positive all he does is look down on other players and cosplay as sasuke uchiha speaking of sasuke ren's obsession with his brother is stupid the man wants to kill his brother because he changed positions you'd think that his brother killed his family with a soccer ball jutsu or something nope the man just figured he'd have a better chance of being the best at a new position which is a horrible reason for ren to lose his whole personality and become the standard douchebag anyways that's it for my video there's a couple of other players that i dislike that i want to talk about so i'll probably drop a part two to this video soon anyways thank y'all for watching please smash that like button if you enjoyed or let me know a character that you hate that i haven't mentioned yet as always thank you for watching boot out <laughs>